Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today another streaming movie review. Today I have another new release. Uh, this is Deep Water. This stars Ben Affleck as well as Ana de Armas and it is directed by Adrian Lin. The movie is premiered here on Amazon Prime and I think it's on Hulu in America. The plot of the movie is basically, it's an erotic uh, psychological thriller that basically follows uh, Ben Affleck's character, Vic, who is married to Anna de Armas' character, Melinda. They have a child called Trixie, um, and it's, you know, you kind of got to figure out the beginning of the movie for yourself. Basically, they've got this kid, but then they, they say love you to each other, but then Melinda has these, like, um, affairs, or she has an affair, and you basically feel then sorry for Ben Affleck's character, because, you know, he loves his wife he's got a daughter he's a look he seems like a good dad but um melinda just doesn't love him anymore or, or whatever as the story progresses it obviously explains a lot of the stuff and this is based on a book um so this is an adaptation from a book to a movie and um i gotta say without spoiling too much you know it, it's very interesting and it, it did surprise me i didn't expect it to go down the route that it did it is one of those films where you know things just play out and the ending doesn't really make sense but it's it's, it's at the end of the day it just kind of goes 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 but then never actually finishes which is one of my biggest criticisms of the film really it doesn't actually feel like it ends and um you know you're just watching it and all of a sudden it just stops you know it's just one of those it is an erotic psychological thriller and um, it does include like you know, kind of like 50 shades sex scenes i guess and um i wouldn't say you know it's not too many i probably would say it it probably is a 15 i don't i don't know the age rating but it doesn't seem like an 18 like it's not too i expected it to be like a like high a lot a lot more but some of the things in this movie that was appealing was like you know actual like the scenes and some of the cinematography was quite cool um but it was very plain and i guess you know the story was was very plain you know it was just they had a party one evening then they'd wake up then it'd be the day after then there'd be another party a few days later and you know there wasn't much there really in terms of the script i'm surprised that when you'd read this book you'd think this would be a good film because it doesn't really seem like that i think it would have been a good tv show but like as a film it kind of just was a not a bit rushed but like it just as i say didn't really have an ending so it didn't really feel like it you know with a film you kind of need to have a beginning middle and end um or potential for a sequel and this has neither it didn't have an ending and it didn't have potential for a sequel so it's very strange in that sense. Both Ben Affleck and Anna de Armas were actually together dating at the time of this movie. Um, so their affection does come across as quite genuine, to be honest with you. And um, yeah, it's, 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 it's decent performances by both of them. Recently, I watched Finding the Way Back, uh, which is this movie here starring Ben Affleck. And it reminded me of this. In this movie, he's a struggling alcoholic and spends a lot of his time on, on his own. Uh, and in this film, he does spend a lot of his time on his own, but he's struggling to come to terms with the fact that his wife doesn't love him anymore. Or, or whatever. Anyways, right in the movie, I'm gonna rate this a 4.5 out of 10. I'm very much in the middle. It's it's good in some parts. I liked some of the some some aspects of it, but then I didn't like the other aspects of it. So it's very much down the middle, but just a little bit worse than uh, than Smack On. Um, yeah, would I watch her again? Probably not. Is definitely a one-time watch really for me but it was worth watching i'm glad i did with it being a streaming movie review it feels like a tv film it should have been on netflix or a prime video as it is it's it's in the right place if this was in the cinema this would have been baffling but uh but yeah but there we go it's an interesting film it's got some gone girl vibes into it as well it just feels like you know all of these films coming together like this one uh, we've got Gone Girl with Ben Affleck's done and it's pretty mad because it's filmed I think it was filmed on the time when he was Batman and there was actually a pool scene where you see the back of him and he literally is like hench I mean he probably is hench now but he, he was in the Batman shape as well and um yeah he, he yeah, it's pretty funny it was like oh you know we're gonna miss Ben Affleck as Batman but you know one of those things but there it is let me know your thoughts on the movie down below have you seen it are you planning on seeing it let me know your thoughts fortunately it was a bit of a bust for me but like yeah pretty average just just put just smack in the middle thanks so much for watching though guys stay tuned for more videos coming soon and of course don't forget to subscribe like and share the videos and i'll see you in the next one goodbye